Uh, welcome back. As you can remember, last week we asked for people's ideas about our holiday episode. What are you doing? Yeah, cocoa on the side of it. Yeah, could we not? We're filming. Uh, we're here celebrating the holidays. If you can't tell, I got green on, which is a holiday color. I have something special on too. You said you wouldn't do this. Frankly, not necessary. They to need to see film. it. We can move on. Do you guys want to see it? it? Ah, ah. <laughs> you like that? You like that? Are we done? Can we move on? I'm totally done. All right. I'm totally done. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Awesome, let's move on. Thanks for the yeah, great yeah. comments, everybody. Two pages worth. So, How many YouTube videos can say that? Yeah, not very many. Yeah. We decided we had too many great comments. We didn't want to just take one. So thank you for your brilliant ideas, everybody, but especially Quench Cafe 1, Filling the Void Reviews, and Amber's 87. So we kind of combined three into sort of sort of a... Uh, uh, Casserole. There we go. Casserole of ideas. Uh, so uh, sit back and relax and enjoy. Them Roomies present... History of the Holidays. I just mimed that. I didn't say it, though. I just... Why did you mime it? I, I thought we were going to say it, but then the sound didn't come out. What? <laughs> First, we start with Christmas. Christmas started a long time ago. Nobody knows exactly how long. In the land of Bethlehem, there was this guy, God. And God really wanted a baby. But because he wasn't actually a person, he had to point at Mary and say, Baby! And then Mary was pregnant. She didn't just pop out a baby. Nope. No, there was all these people around. Like, people were invited. It was like a, it was an event. And there was like a manger, a nativity scene, if you will. You had three men who were very smart. You had sheep herders. You had sheep themselves. And then, you know, stuff happened and stuff happened. Some things. <laughs> And then Santa came along and started giving presents to people all around the world. So you can see the connection. And then cut to present day Christmas, where everyone shows their holiday spirit by waiting in line for 32 hours to get a great deal on a toaster oven. And they don't care how many old women they step on in the process. Merry Christmas! Now Hanukkah. Hanukkah is a, is a, is a holiday steeped in tradition. Uh -huh. It goes back years and years and years, okay, to this really cool guy named Judah who lived in the country of Judea. But there was a tyrannical king. King Antio... King Ant... King Butthead. We'll call him that. And he decided to tell everybody, you can't practice your religion. <laughs> but then Judah said, I'm not going to stand for that. So he rounded up his four brothers and a big old army. They were called Judah and the Maccabees. Sounds like an indie rock band. I'd listen. And so, when they reclaimed the temple, they decided to rededicate it with a candle. But all they could find was a small amount of oil that could only burn for one night. It was a miracle! Miracle! that one tiny bit of oil lasted eight whole nights. So that's why there's eight candles on a Hanukkah menorah. But wait, there are nine. The one in the middle is used to light the others. Cut to the Hanukkah of today. A holiday in which any goy has trouble pronouncing. That's so Hanukkah. Oh There's really gosh. no translation. Oh. It's not a CH sound. It's not an H sound. It's Hanukkah. Oh, stop it. Hanukkah. Stop it. Stop it. Two down, one to go. <laughs> Next up on History of the Holidays, Kwanzaa. I know what many of you are thinking. Kwanzaa, isn't that the currency of the country of Angola? <laughs> <laughs> and it is, but that's Kwanzaa with one A. Kwanzaa is a very interesting holiday. It started a long time ago in 344 BC, when the warrior Kuta Kinte and his four companions were fighting a dragon in the oh, fields of Africa. That's absolutely not true, man. Kuta Kinte was a character from Roots. Kwanzaa was, in fact, started in ancient L.A., 1966 A.D., to be exact, by Dr. Molana Karinga. Dr. Karenga started the holiday as an alternative to Christmas and Hanukkah for he and his African-American brothers. Kwanzaa is built on seven principles, commonly known as Guza Saba. They are unity, self-determination, collective work and responsibility, cooperative economics, purpose, creativity, and faith. They celebrate Kwanzaa with lots of singing and dancing and food, and they have something that's kind of a lot like a menorah, but it's actually called a Kinara. Menorah, Canara, Menorah, Canara, Menorah, Canara, Menorah, Canara, Menorah, Canara, Menorah, Canara, Menorah, Canara. And cut to the Kwanzaa of today, where it's a holiday that many people know it exists. So. That has been the Them Roomies holiday extravaganza. Thanks for playing along, and I hope you learned something. Wait, we forgot the atheists. Here's what they do.
Ha! Do 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 do